Hello dear follower of our program. I want to show you how to create custom pillars or column as you can see in this diagram here. I have this custom pillar quite unlike the one that is in Articad. I designed this custom pillar of my own and I want to show you how to design something similar to this. For us to do this, let's go to our floor plan. In our floor plan here, you can see the profile of the pillar that you saw the 3D. Now, this profile, I did it with uh, simple lines and uh, arc. Okay, so, we have arc here. You see, all these other ones are just uh, lines. If I used my own test and choice of profile to prepare this, you can go for something like this or you can create your own um, profile. But to create something like this, first thing you have to identify is you have to prepare a diagram that shows what you want your pillar to look like at the end of the drawing let's look at this diagram now you can see in this pillar you can see we have from this particular section from this particular spot from this spot up to this spot we call the whole of this the capital of the pillar now from this spot from this part down to this level it's called the column shaft we call it the column shaft now from this part from this part down to this level we call it the base of the column so before you design a custom pillar you must first of all decide what you want the height of the base to be the height of the shaft that is the shaft and the height of the capital now let's look at what we have here like from this part down to the neck level of the capital the height is 735 millimeter now from this part down to this spot we have the height as 5000 millimeter then from this part down to this part we have it as 500 millimeter so you can see this pillar is the pillar has a base of 500 millimeter 5000 millimeter shaft and 735 millimeter capital so let's 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 create something similar to it first thing we do is you get your line draw a vertical line draw a horizontal line then first of all get your shaft 5,000 with 5,000 millimeter I see then the next thing we ask ourselves is what do we want the neck of the shaft to be and what the base level will be now in this column the neck level of the pillar have a diameter of 500 millimeter whereas the base level has a diameter of 600 millimeter that means the pillar is a a bottleneck pillar or the pillar is tapered towards the capital so it is not a perfectly cylindrical pillar so in this case since we have it 500 all you do is you just offset to 300 and then we offset back this way to 600 that automatically gives you the base diameter you can delete it all right you can remove this like this then the next thing you do is the neck level is diameter is 500 so what you do is you offset 250 by left and then we offset back 500 towards the other side of it then cut this off cut this off and delete this then take another line join this part to this part join this part to this part and delete this also delete this haven't done this now offset this by 100 100 mm another 100 mm that done 
then highlight both of them and extend the line beyond that limit then cut it off here take another line and and join both together then pick your circle and find the midpoint of this new line and draw an arc now delete this line once you've drawn this arc mirror it so that it comes towards the left then delete this line as well then delete this these two lines then you have this shape then delete this as well then start from this part go back to your line pick your line and start from this part you're 50 no the line is not perfectly horizontal and move 50 upward move 35 or 25 and move 25 up again then draw a line of 175 stop. then use your circle click at this part then start from here and move a quarter arc stop there and delete this then go back to your line pick another line draw your 25 make it 50 then 50 this way and then 150 then draw a line to join it. Now all you have to do is to mirror everything you have in this section towards your left. Then cut this off. Cut this off. Cut this off. Then remove this line. Then offset this to 150. Then cut this. Cut this. Cut this. Cut this. Cut this. Cut this off. Then you can see you have similar shape to the one above. Then cut this off. Then take a line, another line, your 35 mm, 50, another 35, maybe 75. Then draw a line of 200, which you're going to use as the radius of your arc. Then go to arc and pick line and pick the arc. And then draw an arc. Delete these two lines. Go back to your line and then from this phase of the arc pick up a line 50 100 make the draw another line of 150 which will be the diameter of the arc that you draw later then pick the center of it draw this arc now having done this delete this line mirror what you have here Toward this side. This automatically gives you a profile, a custom profile. You can see what you have. Now that you have this, all you need to do is this is the full diagram of what your pillar will look like by the time you are done with it. So what you do is take a copy of it. Take it by the side, drop it. Then cut this place off. Cut this place off and delete this. Delete it. Cut this place off and also cut this place off. Then go to your fill and fill this profile having done that highlight the profile highlight the fill then cut the fill now that you cut the fill move to this profile manager look for your profile manager click on your profile manager it opens the moment it opens click on this part that said new click on it new then give a name to the new profile you are creating that profile you are creating is the profile that will give you your your custom pillar so type it you call it custom co 01 click okay the moment it opens, right click and paste the profile you just picked from the drawing board. Click paste. You can see. Now drag this board. Drag it to this hot spot. You can see this red dot here. Can you see it? Drop it here. You see? Then free the marquee. Now that is done, the next thing you do is highlight this field. Then offset it a bit backward, let's say 50. Don't forget this figure. Don't forget this number you are offsetting it. 50. That's okay. Then click on override surface and give it the color you want it to be. Paint titanium white. Then having done that, click on store. Store profile. The moment you store profile, you have created a profile. Simply exit this board. Then the next thing you do is you go to your wall. The moment you enter your wall, it's already in custom profile. As you it is, as you it is in single wall or single wall like this, all you need to do is first you move down to your model. 
make sure that you highlight make sure that you join all of them together so that you have the same color the color you want the pillar to be you change you choose it then having done that you go back to this geometry and posi um, geometry and positioning click on your custom profile then go there and look for custom co one click on it the moment you click on it click ok now that you click ok then come down and draw it make sure you move you change your the command from straight wall to curved wall then pick a point the moment you pick a point the dialog box there will demand for the radius of the column you want to draw now give it the offset that you used in the in the profile manager that offset is 50 type 50 moment you type 50 click ok and then draw the app draw the pillar you can see your pillar is done then view it in your 3d you see look at it here almost similar to the first one i did you see the first one i did see the one that i have now so this is how to create your custom pillar i hope this tutorial is of great help to you all right thank you for watching